Hi guys, this is Chris from ThriveInHarmony.com. I apologize, I was planning on going live like 20 minutes ago and I got caught up in something and I forgot. So if you were waiting for me to hop on, here I am. Um, I just wasn't feeling like writing about plants and spring gardening this morning because I will show you what is going on outside of my house on this 29th day of March. There, that's what's going on at my house. It is snowing, and it has been snowing all day. So what I decided to do my blog on today is uh, how to beat the spring blues. The I don't think spring is ever going to come blues. So if you'd like to check out um, what I wrote today, you can log in to thriveinharmony.com and read my blog. It'll be up soon. And... Um, just a few, I, I've got some tips and ideas there, some suggestions if you're feeling like I am and uh, wondering if your poor tulips are ever going to see the sun. Um, there was uh, something we tried a few years ago which was kind of fun as well. We took the kids and went to stay in a hotel for a night that had a, um, a hot tub inside and a indoor pool with a slide and we had great fun. It was a really nice change to get away from the house and do something different. My daughter had asked for a hot tub for Christmas, and that was our fun way of doing that. And we, we had a great time. You might want to try a spa day, going to get a manicure or pedicure to perk yourself up. Maybe a little bit of shopping and coffee out with a friend. I think we're all getting a little shack wacky at this point in the season. So you might have to just, you know, kind of get off your butt and get out there and, and do something different and change it up a little bit. And uh, sooner or later, this will, this will change and spring will come and the snow will melt. Um, if you haven't been exercising, I highly encourage you to start. The seasons are going to change soon and there will be lots to be done outside. And I know from my thinking about my mom, um, when she starts working outside, she has to build up her strength again because she has not been as active as she has been in years gone by and she finds it exhausting. But um, I like to kind of brag a little bit to her and admonish her because, you know, since I've been working out this past year and a half, I do find a big difference when I start to do things outside in the spring. Um, I have more energy and more stamina and I'm able to accomplish more. So, and you know what? It's a great way to lift your spirits. It release, releases endorphins when you're exercising and that's good for your energy level, good for your positive attitude. And right now, we need all the positive attitude we can get, given the weather. And uh, anyway, that's Coach Chris. Check out my blog on thriveatharmony.com. I list a few other ways of improving your mood this time of the year. 